वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज वेनस डेज फर्स्ट वीडियो फर्स्ट न्यूज स्टोरी इज फ्रॉम मे सैबरे फ्रंट टिग्राई फोर्सिस है ड्रॉन फ्रॉम मे सैबरे मे सैमरे क्वेश्चन इज वेयर इज फ्रंट लाइन हैज दिस रोड बीन ओपन शेरे गोन द रोड इज इट ओपन हाउ मच ऑफ दिस रोड इज अंडर ई एन डी एफ अम्हारा ई डी एफ कंट्रोल सेकेंडली गैत चो स्पोक just a few minutes ago uh and he shared a message what is he saying thirdly uh we have a new story about delivery of food aid delivery of clothes and other items to the people in areas which have come under endf edf control it seems that uh, ethiopian government uh, is trying to speed up delivery of aid to the people who are in the areas recently captured by government forces we have some pictures for you and lastly we was uh, fraud front for restoration of unity and democracy which attacked uh, uh a jibouti military camp uh, uh, more than 10 days ago has released two videos the videos show jibouti army soldiers who are in the custody of fruit we have a clip for you showing two jibouti army soldiers who are in the custody of fruit what are they saying what are their names how is fruit treating them clip for you uh firstly viewers uh, मे सैबरे मे सैमरे फ्रंट वेयर इज फ्रंट लाइन ऑन दिस फ्रंट फ्रंट लाइन वेयर फाइटिंग इज ऑन गोइंग एंड वट अबाउट द रोड एद यर के मे सैबरे एम्ब मादरे एद गैब्रो शेरे रोड इज दिस रोड अंडर entire control of uh, is this entire road under the control of ethiopian national defense force has tdf withdrawn all together from this road from the areas from the towns close to this road towards central tigray tdf was in uh, adarkai it lost adarkai then uh, there was mele ha on tigray amhara border to the north of adarkai tdf lost uh, um, mele ham as well me sabre also called me samre lost by tdf it is under the control of ethiopian federal forces amhara regional forces ambam madre reportedly reportedly endf and uh, amhara forces they have taken control of ambam madre as well situated to the north of mesamre so from shere city uh, edf endf are moving towards uh, takeze and from uh, mesamre uh, endf and amhara forces moving towards takeze target is to clear the entire road uh, gondar uh me samre amba madre edigabro uh, uh shere road uh, what we have learned is that so far uh, endf and amhara forces they have cleared the road up to takeze where takeze crosses this uh, road uh, so it means that uh, me samre under e- endf amhara control amba madre as well and areas to the north of amba madre up to up to takeze are under the control of endf and amhara forces we're not sure about areas to the north of takeze river uh, areas like uh, uh, edigabro uh, and daras have these places in daras edigabro been uh, captured by uh edf and endf which are trying to advance from shere towards takeze it's not clear but reportedly up to takeze from me samre road has been cleared fighting is ongoing to the east of this road now 
बिटवीन टैक एज ए एंड मेसैमरे एम बमादरे सेक्शन to the east of this road fighting is ongoing uh, in areas like dima in areas like uh, feel uh, viha uh, feel viha dima are the areas uh, where fighting is ongoing between this road and takaze so endf amhara forces are trying to push tdf to the east of takaze they want to make takaze as the boundary which amhara region claims is the boundary between tigray and amhara regions entire road has not come under endf edf control even if it came under control i don't think the road would be safe for travel for supplies as well because we have seen that in the first phase of the conflict that this road uh, especially uh, near adigabro uh, near uh, shere near uh, uh, areas to the north of adigabro uh, these places to uh, the north of adigabro they came under attacks uh, by tigray forces so i don't think this road would be uh, available for safe supply of aid safe movement of uh, forces entire road will not be perhaps uh, available uh from takaze to the north towards shere the road co- could come under attacks if tdf is in solid control of a central tigray secondly uh, gata choreda uh, spoke today after uh, a gap of a few days he remained largely silent when tdf uh, lost shere tdf lost uh, alamata koram and now he has shared a message to boost the morale of people of tigray what is he saying he says let's stand up free and fight tigray wins so uh, it's a message meant to boost the morale of tigray fighters and uh, people of tigray because we know that uh, they are down they are uh, suffering losses material losses territorial losses new realities are unfolding on the ground new front lines being set up tdf which was threatening to reach uh, uh, volkayet which was uh, active on sudan side of sudan ethiopia war which said it was in a position to capture voldia just a few days ago if you remember general where they said that uh, tdf uh, was in a position to capture voldia but it did not want to endanger the lives of civilians in voldia now you see edf uh, has been pushed back towards tigray it has lost uh, several uh, towns uh, large territories in tigray so katachos uh, message is meant to, for boosting of morale of uh, tigray fighters tigray uh, people thirdly viewers uh, just 3 to 4 days ago uh towns cities in tigray uh came under endf control amhara control edf as well but government has stepped up uh, operation to deliver aid to these areas to the people living in these areas pictures are being shared showing dozens of trucks so which are heading towards uh, uh elamata towards skorum and maybe towards shire as well why why is that uh, government is uh, taking uh, urgent measures to provide aid to the people in tigray obviously government wants to win the hearts and minds of the people of tigray government wants the people of tigray to be on government side not on tplf side that is why uh, we are seeing that uh, immediately after government forces took control of areas in southern part of tigray and in western and northwestern part of tigray we are seeing movement of trucks uh, towards these areas though tigray backed sources are sharing accounts of atrocities uh, that uh, civilians are being killed rapes are being committed but uh, uh, we'll have to wait to verify 
these things because it could be part of propaganda as well that uh, uh, ENDF and EDF uh, are committing human rights abuses. It could be part of propaganda as well. Otherwise, pictures are being shared showing uh, movement of aid convoys towards uh, the areas, towards the towns and cities newly taken by ENDF and EDF. We are not saying that no human rights abuses are being committed in Tigray, but uh, let's wait for the evidence. It would be better to speak about these atrocities with some evidence. Lastly, viewers, the Djibouti's uh, armed group of fruit has released two videos showing Djibouti army soldiers in the custody of this group. The group attacked uh, a military camp of Djibouti's army between the 6th and 7th of October. Seven uh, soldiers were killed, four were injured, I think, and six were abducted. They were taken prisoner by Frood fighters, which are basically Afar fighters. Afar Somali Isa conflict has been going on in Djibouti for decades. Uh, Afars are being ruled by Somali Isas. Uh, Somali Isas are in power and uh, Afrud uh, has confirmed the attack on this camp and now Afrud is sharing videos of Djibouti's army soldiers who are uh, in the custody of Afrud. Uh, the clip which I have shows two Djibouti army soldiers who are saying that they are in the custody of Afrud and Afrud is treating them well Fruit is not mistreating them, they are safe and sound, their lives are not in danger. Their names are firstly uh, Master Corporal uh, Abdullahi Hussain. He is from Riyadh Regiment of Djibouti's Army. Second one is Abu Bakr Muhammad from Tadjora uh, Corps. And both are in this video saying that they are safe and sound. And fruit is treating them uh, well and their lives are not in danger. So fraud which has been a little dormant in Djibouti though the group was formed in 1991 uh, but then it just went into a short, sort of shell when it split into two factions political faction and armed faction. Now once again it has been reactivated. Uh, we know that yesterday Djibouti's uh, public prosecutor office named Ethiopia, that these attackers of uh, fruit came from Ethiopian territories. That is why a top level Djibouti delegation visited Ethiopia a few days ago after this attack. It means that uh, uh, fruit has ba basis in neighboring uh, countries because Afars live in Eritrea in Ethiopia as well. Where are these uh, hostages being kept? Obviously, Djibouti's military is working to secure the release of its soldiers. Where are these hostages? In Djibouti, in Ethiopia or in Eritrea? It's not clear. Watch the video shared by Fruit, uh, which has been declared a terrorist organization by Djibouti's parliament uh, last week. The video shows uh, two Djibouti's uh, soldiers in the custody of Fruit. There are other Djibouti soldiers as in the custody of fruit. Watch the video. Bokar Mohammed Hassan and he, uh, a locate the Kelly, a do disuiti and a disuit on Salatanke, a free, a Usha Kalu did my name, and men and it and a Lurung of Athena to Mahkai, Alhandu Blackadu, Elsim, a Dorukuru.